Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to another video where today we will be going to watch Cardiff versus Barnsley at home on Tuesday the 5th or 6th, is it? 5th, uh, 6th. The 6th of November. Another must win match for Cardiff. It's going to be like this until the end of the season so we can potentially get that automatic promotion place. So once again, I am here with my dad. Hi. As per usual, come on, focus. Well, there we go. Say hello again. Hi. Once again, apologies about the light. It is night time, as you, can, as you can see outside. So the lighting quality is going to be terrible as it is. So we are on the way to the game now. I think it is going to be a 2-1 victory to Cardiff. I think we can get this win. Barnsley, they're contenders for relegation at the moment. So what do you think? Yeah, Cardiff up against Barnsley. Barnsley, I think they're two points above the relegation zone. Cardiff, five points clear over Aston Villa and six points behind. Wolves and Wolves play tomorrow night so Cardiff really need to win this match Cardiff of course haven't conceded a goal at home in quite a while now I'm not sure the actual stats it's about four or five games now which is fantastic brilliant defense whether Morrison plays tonight I'm not sure I haven't seen the team use but I expect Cardiff to keep a clean sheet it's gonna be a tight game and I'd say 2-0 Cardiff. Interesting okay so Cardiff team news has just been announced sorry for the uh, poor quality of this um, Efferidge starts in goal, Connolly, Manga, Bamba and Bennett in defence, Bryson, Patterson and Gruwich in midfield yeah. and Kadeem Harris, Junior Hoylett and Kenneth Sohor up top. So no Rawls then, he must still be injured. Yeah, it looks like Joe Rawls is still injured and so is Sean Morrison by the looks of things. Uh, anyone else missing would you say? Anyone notable admissions? Well, the Gunnison's back in full training now but... Uh... He won't be seen for a few weeks at least. So. Yeah. Okay, so if you can't already see, but they've actually opened up the away end, what we're going to try and do is we might try and defect to the Canton end so we can actually stand for this game. Okay, so um, first 10 minutes are gone. Kadeem Harris just had an amazing shot then on an amazing run. We're looking good at the moment. I think we can score. Yeah, yeah very cagey really at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Harris there inside netting and lucky. Yeah, we're looking, we're looking good. Almost scored again. Ken if some more with an absolute amazing ball through to Kadeem Harris. Just couldn't connect at the end, could he? Very close, just wide at the far post. Right on the side of the post. Cardiff looking threatening now. Yeah, come on, Cardiff, you can get goals. Okay, so I've just noticed something that it doesn't yeah, yeah. look like their number 15, wherever he has gone, has any shin pads on. Yeah, there oh, he is. Yeah. I don't, he, he does not have shin pads on. That geezer there. Goal for Cardiff! Amazing goal! And Patson, they'll tap in for the best score. Patson was able to get on the rebound, so 1 0 Cardiff. Yeah, excellent goal, well worked, Patterson on the end of it, superb. All started with Manga at the other end, defending on his own, well, on the, on the old Callum goal. Patterson, da, 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 da. Callum Patterson. Excellent shot by Julian Hoyler then, shame though, went just over the bar, but we're looking strong tonight. Possibly we could get a second goal before the second half, but we'll wait and see. Idiot, Cardiff just had a goal disallowed, I don't see what, what was wrong with that. But. Can pass it by the second then. Yeah, it must have been inches off. You going is there. Okay, so we're gonna try and get through now. We're currently in the barns at the end. Let's see if it's open. No, it's not. Alright, let's go back. That was a uh, no short of a uh, disappointment that was. That's a shame. They've done it in the past, but can't get through real well. Okay, so we're looking at the scores now. I've got my good old ball for all. Uh, what's, what's your take on the scores they're coming up? Top five for all winning, so as you were at the moment. Yeah, um, 
Villa winning, Villa Derby winning, Derby winning. That's not good. Fulham winning. Mitrovic getting a couple as well. Not good at all. But it's Cardiff win, that's all they can do. And yeah, we got for Saturday. Let's hope we can keep going. What a goal within one minute! Starting the second half, Marco Bruick scoring an amazing, amazing goal. What yeah, a fantastic strike from Bruick. Looked like he was hesitating, but he took it out of his feet. Well, just curled it with a pace past the keeper. Excellent goal. Amazing. And just as the second half starts, really. So the guy from Swansea on loan, he's just scored unfortunately, getting loads of abuse from the Cardiff fans that went in, but not good. So unfortunately uh, Callum Patterson has gone off injured. Okay, and now it looks like Neil Etheridge is injured as well. Yeah, he's hurt his head. Yeah, he's, he's hurt his head. Okay, so we've just made our third and final sub. Off goes uh, Kadeem Harris, who seems to have an excellent game today. And, and on comes Mendes Lang. Let's hope he does something. Oh, Absolutely oh, disgraceful! Oh, Hot kick of goalkeeper in the head. Just in the open! Oh, he oh, kicked oh, it. There you are! Up in the face of Etheridge, how can you not send the player off? That's a crazy referee. This happened again. The referee once again hasn't stopped the play, and there's two players, two of our players, that look like clashed heads. The referee in this game has been absolutely disgusting. Right, but what's the thing? Yeah, very questionable. The uh, referee decisions tonight have been well, uh, amusing at the least. But anyway, five minutes out of time. Let's see if we can hold back this lead. Come on, sir. Mendes like with an amazing shot coming off the post looked like he was going to go in but, but denied. This could be only about two or three minutes left. This could be very dangerous now. Barnsley could on the lookout for an equaliser. So I'll say we can do this. Final whistle just blown. Cardiff City 2, Barnsley 1. Excellent win for us. Yeah, really needed those three points. First half totally dominated, second half. I think they kind of wanted to make it a bit more exciting. Yeah, well, great win. That's all I can say. Okay then, guys, that was an excellent win for Cardiff. Unfortunately, the referee, in my opinion, was absolutely appalling, if you agree with me as well. Yeah, he made some very weird decisions, didn't he? Yeah, like um, letting injuries go, not sending um, that player off who kicked Etheridge in the head. That was ridiculous. Well, it was a very, very, very dangerous challenge. Yeah. Lucky to stay on the pitch. It looked, I don't know how, you'd have to see it back on a replay, but it looked really bad. Yeah, but um, Etheridge did take those two blows tonight um, on the head, so he's probably going to get evaluated. Another match this week, got Birmingham, I think. Birmingham or, Saturday, Birmingham Saturday another, yeah. well, need to win the game, because by the looks of it, I'm not sure it, the exact score, it looked like all the top five, apart from Wolves, who are playing tomorrow, yeah. all won this evening, looked like Derby were winning, Villa, Cardiff, of course. So it's really important yeah, that we so keep keep winning. Yeah, so it's another must win for us if we wanted to remain second. So yeah, who was your man of the match as well? Man of the match. Zahor did well up front. Okay, he didn't get his goals, but he, he battled away. Gruwich, if he was on longer, maybe Gruwich. Yeah. Um, I think Junior Hoylet. Yeah, yeah, Junior Hoylet again. I yeah, think. I agree with you, Junior Hoylet. Then Kadeem Harris put a uh, good performance in for yeah, his good first match back. Yeah, good to see him back. Excellent his first to see him back. And, I yeah. thought Manga, actually. Manga, 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 Manga was pretty good. Actually, Junior Hoylet just shading it over Manga because Manga, it was him, I think he was under severe pressure in his own area or near the looked like the byline and it was from Manga not putting the ball out into touch or you know out of play kept it in and then Cardiff quickly moved themselves at the pitch and that's um, Callum Patterson put the ball in the back of the net all stemming from Manga's brilliant play. So guys if you have enjoyed this video then please do leave a like comment and subscribe um, if you haven't already subscribed please go down below and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you so you don't miss any uploads and that's about it see you next time guys well foul